There we go. Recording. recording. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. So, hey, and we can actually just say Matt because there's only one Matt in the, the thing today. So, ah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, welcome, everyone, to the Helm Developer Call uh, for, hold on, what's the date? I always forget. November 9th, 2017. Um, today's meeting is probably going to be pretty short because uh, most of the Microsoft people are out at, um, at a meeting altogether. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and get started, but before we go into the normal stand-ups, um, is there any discussion items that people would like to put on for after uh, stand-up? Okay, uh, well, I'm taking side. Side. Oh, good. There's something. Go ahead. Oh, I said nothing from my side. I had a couple of questions about the summit, but um, I could just bring that up, but nothing else major. Okay, I was planning on talking about the summit um, with some discussion things that have come up uh, from the past week. So um, I'll good. discuss that when we're done with the uh, stand up. Uh, Sounds good. Thanks. This is Joe Thompson. Um, I had put in an issue recently about uh, RBAC being enabled or not in charts by default. And I saw that uh, Matt said that which should be. Should I just go? I would just wanted to see if anybody wanted to discuss that and whether we should take that as a consensus and and start modifying charts to enable that uh let's talk about that that's a good discussion point was that um matt farina was it fisher was it butcher it was i think it was butcher's m goodness was that somebody else no that's um michael oh michael goodness okay yeah that's my goodness it's not a matt so don't take his word as gospel <laughs> okay, so um, we'll go ahead and talk about that too. We'll just mention it because it sounds like a good topic to bring up in here. So, hey, look, everyone's popping up on video. Um, so let's go ahead. I'll kick it off, and then we'll we'll go around um, the virtual room here. So uh, this week I was mostly um, working on tying up some PRs for two seven one. Um, I think Fisher was going to do some cutting of two seven one. So I'm going to see what. He says that'll probably be cut on Monday. Um, someone, I can't remember who, but thank goodness, uh, created a um, Simlink, added back in the Simlink walking feature that we had to remove because we were using a Facebook library. So that's great. I'm really glad somebody did that. Um, it's a, I reviewed it, it's good to go, but that's something else we might pull into 271. Um, I worked on some Helm Summit stuff, which I'll discuss in a bit. I also, did finally got everything working with building Helm and testing Helm and Minikube and everything on my Windows machine. So that's an accomplishment in and of itself um, and reminded me of how much work we need to do to make it a little bit friendlier for Windows devs. So that was uh, my week and let's just go ahead and I'll go to you, Matt. So I've just been working on chart stuff and I think the one charts thing, I don't know if we've mentioned it here, is we've been discussing moving towards, uh, for the charts repo, moving towards owner's files and chart owners being able to merge pull requests themselves. We want to get maybe CI a little bit further along, um, but it looks like we can start the process of generating owner's files and making sure owner's files are attached to the Kubernetes org and all the I's and dotted and T's are crossed um, before we can move. We're actually got a little hold up because the current functionality that everyone uses to do that merging is part of something called Munge GitHub. And the, and the functionality is being moved into something else called Prow. And we want to wait till post move, which would be in like the next month before we take it on. Why turn on one thing and have to switch in a month? We're just going to go with the switch system in, in about a month. And so we're going to start hopefully doing that work unless there's objections or issues. And so I'm starting to get the ball rolling in that. That's about it. Quick interruption for the next person. Who is taking notes? Um, I think Steve was supposed to take notes, but I think he mentioned that uh, he uh, wasn't going to be able to make it today. So, okay, I'll I'll work on pulling up the notes then. Um, I can take notes offline if you want to drive, and then I can sh send them to you so you can update the doc if you want. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, Justin, do you want to go next? Sure. Yeah. So I was uh, issues. Sherpas are uh, this week and really just tried to keep things down to a roar. Um, 
I didn't really, I think I merged some typo fix or some example for overrides within a network that I'd happened to have done before. Um, but yeah, uh, just business as usual, trying to triage and respond to people. And I don't think I really did any other con contributions. That's it. Uh, who is R? No response. So, yeah, um, can't see. Yeah, can see you want to speak. Oh, yeah. Anyone else would like to speak? Nikhil? Sorry. Sure. Um, mostly, I was just working um, uh, with my team on getting the, um, the we're writing a chart for Portis, which is sort of a Docker Hub style replacement Docker registry thing, uh, trying to understand charts a bit better and coming up with the right models for ingress and things like that. So we've, that's been mostly what we're working on. Once we have something good, um, I was talking to Matt earlier, uh, might be a good thing to try to get some feedback on um, what the chart's looking at. So we might, uh, I might run it by some of you guys. Pretty much all from my side. Yep. Awesome. <clears throat> Is there anyone else who wanted to give a report? Since there's only six of us, I think anyone who wanted to speak has spoken. Okay. Um, so discussion items, we have the Helm Summit and we have the uh, talk about the um, RBAC by default. So let's just start with RBAC by default and then we'll move into Helm Summit. Um, <clears throat> so that was, who was that that said that I got it was? Uh, I think Kenzie brought it up earlier. Yeah, it was me. Okay. Do you wanna walk through that really fast? Oh, you want me to walk through it? Um, yeah, so uh, I have a chart PR that's been going on for a while now. And one of the last things that I got a review from uh, Reinhard was he said we should turn R back. He wanted me to reformat it so that it used R back in the way that some other charts have started to conventionally use it, which is enable or disable, and then uh, set a service account name under the R back tree of values instead of the way I had it. And then as part of that, he said, RBAC should be false by default. And I said, well, some of these charts use it as false, and then one of them uses it as true. And given that the community has moved on so that most of the cluster installers now default to having RBAC turned on, it seemed like it made sense to me that RBAC should be true by default instead of false. So um, if I hang on a second, I think I have, it's either, it's issue either 3098 or 3099, I think. I can find it in a sec here. If, uh, no. I pasted it. It's 98, 390, yeah, 398. Yeah. Yep. So I, did, I saw that, and goodness had said, which I guess is Michael, uh, let's make RBAC create equals true by default, but I didn't know if I should take that as consensus and go ahead and do it or go ahead and do it speculatively while consensus forms or like, I assumed other people would have opinions on that. Um, <clears throat> isn't the uh, Kubernetes default to have RBAC on and enabled? Just like if you install without specifying, or if you start up the, the control plane without specifying it, RBAC is on by default, correct? I have read that, or well, I should clarify that. I have read people asserting that. I haven't been able to find anything about that in the documentation. So I think it was in the release notes for 1.6. That may be. Question mark. Um, one six I remember was some kind of a flag there, and I know one six is where Cube ADM started turning it on by default. Yeah, well, that that seems to be the rule of thumb, and I would actually be all for moving towards um, towards uh, having that be the accepted rule, as the RBAC should be default. Um, <clears throat> and Matt just uh, made sure to ping the charts maintainers in there, so. Um, I think we'll just wait for a few more people to kind of chime in and say that's good. And I, I mean, I honestly think that's the way we should go. So if by, if we get consensus on there before next dev meeting, then we'll just go ahead and say that's what it should be and we can document it. And if, um, I think 
next dev meeting will be the kind of deadline, the cutoff, and we'll say, okay, yeah, we'll go with it, just so we don't keep dragging it out. Right. In the meantime, I, think that's a, I think that's a good thing to go with. I, I'm not sure if anyone here disagrees. In the meantime, for my chart PR, should I go ahead and leave it as RBAT create equals true, or should I change it to false for the time being? Um, they, did they request it to be false or true in that again? Was it false? Uh, he requested it to be false. I had it currently in as true. Okay, I would just point to the to this uh, open issue in Helm link that, that you had opened up if you didn't already do that and then say that like we had that discussion in the dev meeting and think that having our back on by default is probably a good choice. And then we can discuss it here and once this gets resolved, um, I mean, it's pretty easy to change it back or forth if we need to. Yeah. Okay, any other comments on that? Okay, then um, the last thing that we were gonna bring up is the Helm Summit. Uh, so the decision was made and we got some feedback that the current dates were just too close to KubeCon. It was like another thing for people to travel to within about a month of KubeCon um, to go to the Helm Summit. And so they pushed it out to the beginning of February. Um, the new dates are February 6th and 7th and I'm pretty sure the venue has been locked down. It's in downtown Portland. Um, I can't remember which one. There were two we were looking at, and I can't remember which one they locked down, so I'm not going to say right now. But, um, okay. Uh, but, yeah, it'll be downtown Portland, um, the 6th and 7th. And we're also going to be put because we pushed that date back, we're going to push the CFP deadline out to um, one week after KubeCon. That'll allow us to kind of promote it a bit at KubeCon and um, have some more people with the opportunity to, to submit uh, talks to, to that because otherwise we'd be closing this next week. Um, so that was that I think is what we're going to move forward with and um, and then we'll have a hopefully a landing page and everything for people to sign up on for the actual uh, conference or the actual summit in a, in a few weeks so we'll uh, have all those things hammered out but the sixth and seventh are the dates now and cool. it's all very wise yeah yep Go ahead. that makes a lot of sense so yeah so those, those shouldn't move again. Um, I'm tying down some other uh, sponsoring stuff from this side. There might be some other sponsors involved. I will not say yet. Um, certain, yeah, like we talked about before. Anyway, but uh, we, so we're just, it's gonna be pretty cool. We have some good stuff um, in the pipeline. We're just gonna uh, push, as I said, push out that CFP to give more opportunity for people to get some talks in. So if you have people that you work with who also use Helm who might be willing to give a talk, try to let them know about it um, and give them the CFP link. It would be great to uh, have some more. Yeah, I've, I've been proselytizing about that and trying to get folks to sign up. So hopefully um, they'll sign up uh, soon. And now, now that we, they have some more time too, it, it will be good. So uh, two things, are the dates firm enough that people could book travel now? Uh, yes, I will um, check the, I'm gonna get the venue so that people feel secure about it, Matt from Michelle. Michelle was the one I think who finalized the venue. The problem is they're in that, that meeting that we mentioned at the beginning. So it's hard to get an actual response on. But as far as I know, she had told us specifically they were moving to those dates because it was a few weeks later and that was when the, um, when the venue was available. And so like, I will even look at the conversation now to make sure I'm not making this up. Those, okay. And then I guess my second question would be is we have a SIG apps time slot or two time slots actually at KubeCon. And one mm -hmm. of them is just uh, one of them's a deep dive and the other one's kind of an overview of what's going on. And I'm going to want to uh, probably put a slide together and have some talking points for that or have somebody there. Is Michelle the right person or is there somebody else I should engage on that? For the details, it's me and Michelle. You and so, Michelle. Yep. I'll fire um, the two of you an email and we can start okay. collaborating on what that's going to be. Yeah. Um, I'll in that email, I'll give a few more details that aren't necessarily hammered out yet. And I don't want to announce yeah. publicly. Sure. Until we get them like hammered out. I don't want to speak too early. Um, but I'm really thinking those should be completely hammered out um, here in the next, like those last little details, okay. but the sixth and seventh are pretty firm. So I'll, I'll make sure we announce it. Um, I wish I could add channel inside of Helm Dev at least, but unfortunately that is locked down. 
Um, so I will, uh, I'll make sure that we, I'll, I finalize those actual details with the venue so people feel safe about it. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll email you probably later today in that. Okay, right. any other uh, discussion items? Okay, well, we ended 10 minutes early, which is, oh, did you have one? Uh, no, nothing from my side. I was just going to say okay. that. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, then I think we're good for today. Hopefully that um, if there's anything else, just let us know and um, we'll have everyone back the next week and, and uh, continue on. So thanks everyone for the um, reports and um, we'll see you next week. Oh, wait. I just, before, whew, I almost forgot. Who's going to be the issue share button, the note taker? <laughs> I will volunteer for notes. Okay, so Justin will do notes. Um, I should be able to do the issue, issue Sherpa ing slash Maharaja slash all the titles we've given it before this week. So I can do that. Um, anyone want to run the meeting next week? Issue Sheriff, I like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll find someone else to lead the meeting um, in the dev channel because there's nobody here to really volunteer outside of us six. So sounds good to me. Um, then I think that's it for real now. So uh, have a good weekend, real? everyone. And what? Nothing. I was making a joke. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks, man. Y'all have a good one. Okay. See you, everyone. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.